What's up everyone, Zef Films here with part two of a visual review for the Giorgio class. Uh, now that I got most of, four out of five of the lockbox vanity shields and the mission reward shields and the T6 uh, rep vanity shields, uh, I decided to come back to the ship and take a look at those shield visuals on this ship. If you haven't seen part one, which goes over the, uh, the Taylor options and the T5 uh, shield visuals. I'll have a link for that video here and at the end of this video so you can go and check that out. Uh, but without further delay, uh, let's go check out all the different shield visuals that I missed last time. <laughs> uh, now, starting off strong with the brain shield. I can't remember if I did this in the last video, but I figured I'll quickly do it here just in case I didn't. Uh, so yeah, uh, next shield. Pretty sure I did the Aegis one as well, but yeah. Here we go. The Jem'Hadar shield array. Somebody just left. <laughs> Don't, I can't remember if I got this one, but this is the Bajor defense shield array. Um, it actually doesn't look too bad on this ship. Not too bad. All right, let's go to the lockbox vanity shields. Starting with the Herc shield array. I don't know if this will ever be a shield visual that I like. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Next one, the Ferengi shield array. It's same thing applies. I don't think this will ever be a shield visual that I like. Um, I don't know. I, I wait patiently for that day. Next one, the Emperor's vanity shield. Oh, this looks good on this ship. Oh, I really like that. That looks amazing. Next one. The Discovery Vanity Shield. Ooh. I don't know. I think I like the Emperors on this one better. Though this one doesn't look bad either. I love the deflector. Um, the torpedo tubes or launchers have uh, changed a little bit and oh I just I don't mind this one at all that looks good all right let's go to the t6 uh, rep vanity shields starting with the Terran task force t6 vanity shield this one looks good too I like this one Very nice. Next one, the competitive war games. At first I thought I liked it. Like this view here, it actually looks pretty cool. But then once you look under, whoa, that's a bright sun. There's a lot of yellow going on in here. <laughs> a little bit more that I'd like to see, uh, but at the same time, not too bad. Uh, let's go to the next one. The Dyson Joint Command T6 Vanity Shield. Uh, not too much of a fan of this one. This just, it makes the ship feel too cold. This ship, I think, uh, benefits from the, the lighter and brighter types of uh, shield effects. All right, next one. The Omega Force Shield Array. Uh, this is an example of lighter and brighter that looks good on the ship. Uh, this one does look good. I love the um, the details on the top, the nacelles, and uh, yeah. And I like how, so this was one of my gripes on some other ship where there was this pattern that comes through and then it just went like right through the registry and it's just like, ew. Uh, but this one, it actually stops and I like that. I like how you can actually see the registry clearly. Uh, but yeah, let's go to the next one. The Gamma Task Force Shield Array. Yeah, I am not feeling it. Not on this ship, at least. This is all subjective, though. Next one. The Nakura T6 Vanity Shield. Yeah, I... Way too much noise here. There's just too much going on. Um, way too much going on up here, too. And yeah, still... 
Yeah, this is this is the snake skin of all the uh, the shield visuals, I think. Uh, let's go to the next one. The counter command vanity shield. This one doesn't look too bad on here. It's very subtle, and I can appreciate that. Like I've, I've said this before in other videos, uh, less is more sometimes, and this is one of those times. <laughs> Next shield. The Delta Alliance T6 Vanity Shield. This is, uh, yeah, I think in the Vengeance video I mentioned how it gives it that military look. Um, and I definitely get that from the underside, like this looks like legit camouflage here. Um, don't really notice it up top, maybe because it's a little bit brighter up here, but yeah, not bad. Next shield. The Iconian T6 Vanity Shield. USS Doily reporting. <laughs> yeah, this is an example of where I, I don't like when the, the, uh, the visuals or patterns go straight through the registry. That just, it, it really bugs me. <laughs> Next one. The Lucari T6 Vanity Shield. I don't know how to feel about this one. Um, the hull color just looks kind of too cold for this ship. Yeah. Uh, let's go to the next one. The Temporal Defense Vanity Shield. Whoa. That's, um... That's, um, wow, okay. <laughs> that shuttle bay door at the back is just tripping me out. Holy crap. Uh, yeah. Okay, next one. And the new Romulus T6 vanity shield. I think this is one of the better looking darker skins for this ship. Um, uh, but not my first pick. I don't think I have a pick, to be honest. <laughs> Maybe the Terran Task Force, but the T5 one. But yeah. And that is it for part two of the visual review for the Giorgio class starship. Uh, I hope you enjoyed me coming back and, um, doing the rest of the shields for the ship. If you're new here, please subscribe. If you like this video, hit the like button and share with your friends. And I will see you in the next video, whatever it may be. Have a great day. Bye.